Welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose. Today's episode is episode 103. And, of course, going back to the Korean War for all of this month, so all of May and now into June, by the way, happy June, uh, will be the Korean War recipients. And next month, we'll be switching it back up. And a little quick fun fact, one year ago today, I released the trailer, the promo, for Tales of Honor podcast. So this podcast officially turns one year old. It's pretty cool. I'm really happy about it. Um, I'm really happy that it's gotten to exist for a year and 103 episodes and uh, looking forward to keeping this going. If you'd like to hear anything different or any changes or something that you feel is either not quite right or that you actually love, please, I, I, I know I say at the end of every episode to send over any comments, you know, questions or concerns to the email address, talesofunderpodcast at gmail.com, but I really do mean it. I would like to make this uh, a more enjoyable experience if it's not already. But moving right along, this episode is being brought to you by The Bearded Detailer. Go, please go to thebeardeddetailer.com and uh, anything that's on that site, go ahead and just add it to your cart and go check out. Uh, what's over there? Cleaning supplies, of course, all made in the USA. Uh, Laminex Protective Films, which is really good film for your headlights, taillights, fog lights. And they actually do have some uh, paint protective film as well, too. It may not be on the website, but you can always email the bearded detailer for more information on those. There are some OEM replacement and maintenance parts on there as well. And the bearded detailer recently designed a lift kit and patented it as well, too, for all the Volkswagen Mark 7 Golf Alltracks and Tiguans. It's pretty cool. Uh, go ahead, if you're in the market for one of those, go ahead and order one of those as well. Use the promo code TOH10 to get 10% off your order. When you use that promo code, 75% of all the profits from that order will be donated to the Congressional Medal of Honor Society. Also, be sure to pick up your Tales of Honor podcast t-shirt while you're over there. Nice, tri-blend, comfortable. I can't stress the comfortable part enough. Uh, T-shirts that are all available on the website. The Bearded Detailer, where your dirt is his business. And now, a tale of honor. Frederick was born on the 23rd of September, 1919, in Vian, Oklahoma. One week before his 21st birthday... He went 230 miles east to Clinton, Oklahoma, and joined the U.S. Army. Frederick served in World War II, and by the time the Korean War had broke out, he was a first lieutenant in Company F, 38th Infantry Regiment. It was his actions on the 1st of September, 1950, that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, First Lieutenant Henry Company F distinguished himself by conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity above and beyond the call of duty in action. His platoon was holding a strategic ridge near the town where they were attacked by a superior enemy force supported by heavy mortar and artillery fire. Seeing his platoon disorganized by this fanatical assault, he left his foxhole and moving along the line ordered his men to stay in place and keep firing. Encouraged by this heroic action, the platoon reformed a defensive line and rained devastating fire on the enemy, checking its advance. Enemy fire had knocked out all communications, and First Lieutenant Henry was unable to determine whether or not the main line of resistance was alerted to this heavy attack. On his own initiative, although severely wounded, he decided to hold this position as long as possible and ordered the wounded evacuated and their weapons and ammunition brought to him. Establishing a one-man defensive position, he ordered the platoon's withdrawal, and despite his wound and with complete disregard for himself, remained behind to cover the movement. When last seen, he was single-handedly firing all available weapons so effectively that he caused an estimated 50 enemy casualties. His ammunition was soon expended and his position overrun, but this intrepid action saved the platoon and halted the enemy's advance until the main line of resistance was prepared to throw back the attack. First Lieutenant Henry's outstanding gallantry and noble self-sacrifice above and beyond the call of duty 
reflect the highest honor on him and are in keeping with the esteemed traditions of the U.S. Army. Five months after his actions, Frederick would be posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor on the 16th of February, 1951, and a U.S. Army facility in South Korea was named Camp Henry in his honor in May of 1960. While his name appears on memorials in his hometown of Vian, Oklahoma, Hawaii, and Washington, D.C., there is also a marker for Frederick Funston Henry in the Salt Lake City Cemetery, Plot R, Road 29, Lot 15, Grave 5E. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you so much for listening to Tales of Honor podcast. If you like this podcast, please be sure to leave a nice review, a good rating, and tell a friend. Also, be sure to subscribe. You may be listening to this for the first time, and if you like it, please go subscribe so you never miss a new episode every Sunday and Wednesday evenings. You can see more information on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and at talesofhonorpodcast.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening.